Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to go over how to configure an approval process in Zoho Creator. So, let's see how to set up a workflow to automate the leave approval process at an organization. The screen we see now is a sample app to manage the employees at an organization. Here, we have an apply leave form that will let employees request a day off. We can automate the leave approval by setting up an approval workflow based on this form. So, let's get into the editor and access the workflow section. Select the approval workflow type, then click on new workflow to create a new process. To do this, first we have to choose the form based on which we want to make the approval workflow. In this case, it's the apply leave form. Next, give a name to the approval process. We also have the option to run the approval process only for specific records. Let's say you want to execute this process only when the employee applies for a casual leave. In that case, you can set a condition saying leave type equals casual leave. For demonstration purposes, let's stick to the always option. Now we'll proceed to create the approval process. The screen that we see now is the approval workflow builder. The first step in setting up the workflow will be to add an approver. So let's add a new approver. First, select the type. You can choose user, role or field. On selecting the users option, this field will display all the users of the application. You can set a user from this list as an approver. The second option will list the permission sets in the app. When you select a permission, users with the chosen permission will gain access to approve the request. And finally, the field section will display all the user fields of the app. When you select a field, the users in that field will be eligible to approve the request. For demonstration, let's select a user from the Users tab and make them the approver. The default approval and denial labels can also be customized here. Now, let's save the approver. The first level of the approval process will be created by default when you add the approver. It will display action blocks with default actions that will be executed on approval or rejection of a request. Sending an email notification is the default action enabled for approval and rejection of the request. You can add multiple actions inside an action block and set a condition in common or add a new condition in a new block. The actions inside the block will be executed when the specified condition is met. The default email action can also be customized based on your context or be deleted if you don't need them. Zoho Creator will send out an email notification to the employee approving their request. This is the default message. You can customize these fields as per your requirements. Let's say we need to update the leaves left for an employee after every leave approval. We have an employees form that stores the employee details with the leave balance. Instead of doing a manual update on the form every time, we can define a dilute script to automate this process. To do this, let's choose dilute script. This code snippet detects the applied leave from the total amount of leave available for the employee from the employee's database. Similarly, we can set the logic so that the request does not go to the approver if the employee runs out of leave or add back leave to the database through compensatory offers and more. The actions that we have configured up until now will be triggered if the request is approved. Similarly, we can configure actions to execute on the rejection of request. Now, let's see how this approval configuration works. The employee database shows that Mason has 15 days of leave remaining. Let's watch what happens once he requests for a leave. Once the employee fills out the apply leave form and submits it, the approver can see requests under the pending tasks in approvals. After the approver opens the request, approve and reject buttons will be shown. The approver can choose whether to approve or reject the request from here. The approver can also comment while accepting requests. The comments will be shown under the approval history in the completed tasks section. Once approved, the employee will receive an approval email and the amount of leave in the employee database will be updated. If the request is rejected, the employee will receive a rejection email. 
Zoho Creator gives you the flexibility to configure multiple approval levels. Say you want the lead request to be approved by two individuals in a hierarchical manner. First by the team lead and then the manager. You can do that by adding an additional level of approval. Now let's see how to configure the process for this scenario. Click on add new approver. Choose the approver and proceed to save. We have now configured two levels of approval. The default actions will be the same for all levels of approval, which in this case is sending an email notification. You can customize them using the same process. Let's see how this hierarchical approval configuration works. Once the employee fills out the apply leave form and submits it, the team lead will receive the request. Once approved, an approval email will be sent and the request will be forwarded to the manager. The manager can see the approval history here and if the request is approved, an approval email will be sent. If not, the leave request will not be approved. You can configure the workflow properties by accessing the gear icon on the top bar. We can edit the workflow name that we entered in the beginning or change the process to run on a condition. Moreover, submitters can recall their requests before the approver accepts or rejects them. So if the employee no longer wants a leave or wants to change the number of leave days, the request can be recalled. The fields on the apply leave will be displayed here. You can customize by adding, deleting or rearranging the fields here. The changes that you make here will reflect on the leave report. That's all for this video. Hope you had a brief understanding of configuring the approval process in Zoho Creator. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.